We're here with WBA middleweight champion of the world. Whoa. That's got to be. That? That's, that's a new ring to it. <laughs> how's that feel to hear, Daniel? It feels amazing. Um, you know, I've fulfilled my dreams since I first put on the first pair of gloves, and I'm still actually on a natural high. To be around these fight fans and, you know, to be able to call myself champion and everyone say, hey, champ, it, it's a new feeling. I mean, they always used to do it. But now it actually means something because I am champ. So it's a special moment. I'm, it's a special moment, always winning a title. But how much more special is it coming back from cancer to win the title than if you never had it before? You know, it's just, it's so heroic. It, it, it just reminds me of all the superheroes that I've seen go through adversity and be able to come back and do it in a spectacular fashion. You know, what me and Anthony Durrell have gone through to be able to come back and make historic comebacks and be world champions. I mean... You know, that's a lot, man. That, yeah. that, that's a lot, and that's that's very commendable from us both. And, you know, it was very special for me to see him win this championship tonight. How do, do you think, um, you know, your accomplishment and coming back to cancer and winning a world title, how, well, how much does it transcend boxing? It does transcend, you know, because, you know, boxing, what, what represents boxing, you know, boxing has a bad name. Boxing has, um, excuse me, boxing has, like, you know, the, the negative things, always saying about the statistics in boxing and just, you know, guys like... The corruption. Right, all the corruption. So it just gives a, a, a breath of fresh air to it. You know, you always want to hear of a good story, but in the sport of boxing, very rarely do you get to hear it. And I'm just happy to be one of those guys to, you know, represent the sport well. You know, I, I conduct myself as a gentleman, and what I've gone through is very, very inspiring, and I'm just excited to be able to share it with the world. Have you gotten some, you know... Uh, some, have people that don't even watch boxing notified you and told you, wow, what a story? You know, have you had fans Absolutely. That, that aren't even fans Absolutely. of boxing? Well, you have to understand, this story is bigger than boxing. Yes. Uh, this story is not just about me winning a world championship. This story goes beyond that. It goes to the extent of someone having such a deadly disease and that's affecting so many people all over the world to be able to come back and fulfill his dreams. I mean, that's very inspiring in, in, in anyone, whether it's in sports, whether it's in business, and most importantly in life. Uh, can get inspired by that. So you're an ambassador for cancer, not just the sport. I'm just an ambassador. I'm an ambassador uh, not only for cancer, but just the hard work and dedication to get you in faith in God. Most importantly, you have to have faith in God in order to accomplish your dreams and, and, and your goals. Now, got to get back to the square circle a little bit. A lot of fans would love to see you fight Peter Quillen. You guys always put on great performances on Showtime. You spoke about that fight before. Yeah. Do you think it's a fight that could be made in the near future? I think it's a strong possibility the fight can be ha uh, can happen. I mean, we both have the same managers, both share the same promoters, we both uh, fight at the Barclay. We have tons of fans in, in New York, mm -hmm. so it's a fight to me that almost makes sense. Anybody else would just be you know, uh, shooing. But um, hopefully the fight can be made in the near future. I know he has a mandatory coming up, so I'm not sure if I'll be next, but hopefully right. if he wins, we can get him afterwards. That fight should definitely, if it does happen, take place at the Barclays and probably sell out. Yeah. Is there anything you see in Peter Quillen that you could expose a little bit, take advantage of? Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, he has a lot of um, defense deficiencies and you know, I think a guy like myself, an experienced guy like myself, will be able to capitalize off of all, all those different things. And not only that, you know, I'm a superb boxer. You know, I can get on my back foot, and if I hurt a guy, I have the ability to get him out of there as well. So it should be interesting to see both both guys who pack a punch, uh, being able to sell out the Barclays Center, uh, fans screaming and cheering and just action all night. I just get chills thinking about it. Sounds great to do. Uh, last question for you, Daniel. Thank you for your time so far. Tonight we had Porter versus Brook. Shockingly, in a close fight, we had the fighter from the UK win a decision on US turf. Who did you think won the fight? Man, I, you know, I, I thought the right man won. Although I could have, mm -hmm. I could have mm -hmm. uh, called it a draw, but uh, that would have been unfair to Special K. You know, he came in there, he looked very special. He weathered the storm. Um, he didn't allow Sean to fight Sean's fight. And you know, the second half of the fight, he turned it up and did what he had to do to get the victory. Daniel, thanks a million for your time. Wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Anything you want to say to the fans? And Thank you for always supporting me. You can find out more information about myself at my Twitter, Daniel Jacobs TKO, and my Instagram at Danny Jacobs 718. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.